How's it going everyone? Miguel Quiles here and don't run off because I know you're looking at this video and thinking, wow, the quality is just terrible. But the reality is that in 2020, when I'm filming this video, most people's video conference videos look like this. And so in today's video for Alpha Universe, I'm going to show you guys how you can get your videos from looking like this to something like this. I'm going to break everything down for you, show you the lighting setups that I'm using to get this lighting. It's kind of extreme, but it looks amazing. Let's get started. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Miguel Quiles. And as we talked about in the intro, I'm going to be breaking down exactly the lighting setup, the camera, the lens, uh, everything that I'm using to get this really professional grade, professional quality looking um, Zoom slash Skype slash team slash, you know, all those programs that we're using in 2020 that we're all too familiar with for our video conferences. I want to show you guys how you can take that that look, which normally would be coming from a webcam, but now we're going to upgrade it using a professional or even just a regular mirrorless camera. So if you're curious on how to set up your mirrorless camera to use it with one of these video conferencing uh, apps or programs, make sure that you check out the video that hopefully would have posted up before this, uh, where I kind of talk you through the process of downloading the software, installing it, setting up your camera. It gives you basically everything in terms of getting a camera connected to your PC or your Mac. So definitely check out that video if you have any questions about that. We're really going to be honing in and focusing more on the lighting, the lenses, the camera settings that basically give us this like final polished look. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's start to kind of break down this lighting setup that we're using here in the studio. And um, I'm going to turn off all of the lights one by one and just kind of uh, build up the scene that you're actually seeing, because sometimes when you're watching these videos, it's kind of hard to tell like exactly what's going on. So I want to just kind of strip it all down, start from scratch and just show you how I build up this scene to make this video. So first and foremost, the lighting that we have that is our practical lighting is going to be coming from these nano leaf uh, canvas panels that I actually have uh, in the wall behind me. And they kind of change different colors and they just kind of add this like really nice kind of uh, RGB glow to the studio, which I think just looks really interesting and looks cool. So that light is basically just adding that little bit of a glow and, and add some depth to the image. And then the next light that we're using is this uh, RGB wand. It's like a little light saber <laughs> looking stick that I've actually put over my uh, shelf where I keep my soft boxes and I keep all of my lights and things of that nature. And I basically have that in the back to add again, another layer of separation from that uh, background kind of adds a little bit of a focal point of interest in the background, which I think looks really cool. Um, the next light that I have is a light it's, uh, made by Luxley. And this light basically is uh, set to blue and it's facing that same shelf where that RGB light is, that light wand. And it's basically just bringing up that ambient light back there and just kind of uh, kind of making that glow look a little bit more extreme and just a little bit more noticeable in the video. And then moving on the next light, I have a Rotolite Anova Pro 2. I'm actually using that as a uh, separation light. So I have all these kind of RGB colors going on behind me. And this light is basically just adding a little bit of a kind of see it here in the video, a little highlight, a little outline so that it's making me have that 3D pop from the rest of the image. And then finally, what might be the star of the show, I don't know, but um, is the main light because obviously you want to make sure you have a really nice, good, soft light on yourself. And so I'm using a uh, three by four softbox, uh, which is going to provide a really nice, big, soft light and a aperture 120 D. Now, keep in mind, I'm telling you all of these different lights and stuff that I'm using to make this uh, really crazy setup, but you can use whatever lights it is that you have. So it's not so much that you have to use the specific lights that I'm talking about, but you just want to keep in mind as you're setting up your like next level uh, video conferencing studio that you want to make sure that you have multiple layers of lighting in your scene because it's going to make it look more interesting. It's going to make it look really like highly produced, which is what we want. So 
Um, that's the lighting setup. Let's talk about the camera, the lens, the camera settings that are gonna give us the uh, finishing touches to this look. All right, so let's talk about the camera setup that I'm gonna be using here. I've got the Sony a7C, which is a beautiful full frame camera. I've got the flip screen to be able to see. I mean, I could obviously see myself in the, uh, the Zoom app or the Skype app, but it's really nice to have this flip screen where I could also see in a much better quality uh, what the image is actually looking like. I'm using the 24 1.4 G Master lens. Uh, even though I have other lenses, I've got the 16 to 35 G Master, which is also very good. But this 24 1.4 is a fantastic lens for video conferencing because it's not super wide where you're getting more of the, the, the background and you're getting just more detail than what you actually need. Um, it's just a really good focal length for that like front and center. Uh, you know, I'm in the middle of the frame and talking to the camera. It's a really good focal length for that. Being able to open up to 1.4 is also super useful because it blurs out the background um, in a really pleasing type of way. So this 24 G Master is probably my favorite lens. Uh, but obviously, you know, we're, we're at the um, kind of like the higher level of the uh, Alpha series of lenses. So if you wanted to go for something that's not as extreme, but still looks really good, um, Sony has the 20 millimeter F1.8 uh, lens, which is also really fantastic great lens to be able to do these uh, virtual conferences and actually make it look really good. Um, just open up that aperture to f1.8 and you're going to get an image that looks really, really good. So for my settings here, I'm at ISO 100, f1.4, 50th of a second. These are all the you know typical settings that one would have if they were going to shoot a, say like a YouTube video or something like that. Um, you'll actually maybe see this lighting setup in the YouTube videos that I'm making here for Alpha Universe and be like, man, it looks really similar to this video conferencing video that he's making right now. And that's because it is. It's the same exact setup. So if you wanted to kind of upgrade your YouTube video look, you could totally take the same idea, the same concept and apply it to those videos. But um, that's basically the entire setup that we're using as far as the camera and the lens uh, for the audio. I've actually got uh, Sony's microphone on top of the hot shoe. And that, ma that microphone is actually going to be capturing all of the audio, feeding it through to uh, whatever program it is that you're using so that you can get good quality audio. Obviously, when it comes to video conferencing, audio is a very important piece to that. Um, there's a lot of different options that you can run with, but what I love about this microphone is that it's small, it's discreet, you don't have to plug it into the camera, it just works off of the hot shoe, uh, which is super useful. So it's one less thing for you to worry about when you're trying to set up really quickly for a meeting. Um, this side of things is very quick, very easy to set up, and uh, that's basically everything that you need to be able to have a really nice, clean, beautiful, webcam setup. So what questions do you guys have about this? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. And while you're there, make sure that you subscribe to Alpha Universe. They have tons of videos and lots of new content that is releasing all the time. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll check you out on the next one.